Hey guys, I'm Jackie. I've been a bartender for the past 10 years. I've been working in bars in Berlin, in Munich and in Melbourne. And today I'm gonna show you how to make quick and easy, a really nice tropical punch. Um, last year we went to a festival, a big bunch of all of us, and it was the best time. And we were really hard on Friday night because everyone gets there and is like, party! And then on Saturday you feel like, ooh, but you don't want to do it. And you keep going to the night and at night you decide, ooh, actually I'm on a festival, make the most out of it. So you're gonna start drinking slowly again, get over that hangover. And we pretty much destroyed all the good stuff the first night. So um, my friends gave me like this big bunch of juices and tin fruits and um, really gross liquor. I personally don't like like gin and so on, which is not gross, I'm sorry. I just don't like it. And um, lucky we also had some ice. So I made a punch with that and I'll show you how that works. Tropical punch, what do we need? What do you need? Whatever you want, you know, chuck it in. Is it fruity? Is it yummy? Bring it on. Um, juice, you will need some juice. You will need some ice, which I will show you later on. I have already prepared. You need some peaches and the passion fruit pulp. You can also be really fancy in a bowl later on. Do some, um, chuck on some Prosecco. I've actually been a bit cheeky on this one and, and prepared you guys a bottle, which I thought you guys should know this idea. It's really simple, but what I did is like I used um, an old uh, juice box, filled it up with water, maybe like down to here, and then I put it like this in the freezer, and now I've got this layer of ice in it, which later on will spare me the detail of chucking extra ice to the drink and I can shake it straight in a bottle. So for you all who doesn't have those equipment from the bar at home for like shaking the drinks, those Boston mixes and so on, just use a juice bottle, just do it like that, you know, if, if the lid is big enough and you forgot about the ice, you know, you can always put it through the top, but if you, if you, if you prepared a little bit you can just do it like this and, and it will work just perfectly. Actually a little bit better than all those little ice cubes because because it's so big so it will take longer to melt down. So what am I going to do with that? I actually need juice for this one. Juice, juice. So I got in the supermarket a really nice tropical juice. Trying not to show the brands here, it's a bit tricky as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And to the juice, I always spell over myself. Um, I found in this kitchen, I'm at my friend's kitchen at the moment, and they have a little bit of gin again. Gin, gin it is so. The other option is some bourbon, which I don't really, yeah, no, nah, let's not do the bourbon. All right, let's start with the gin. It really is up to you how much you would like to put in there. Um, I probably say bottle four shots. So let's um, let's agree to four shots on this one. You know, if you're not sure how much alcohol to put in there, just always start off with making less alcohol, like putting less alcohol in there, and then later on when you um, when you taste it, you can always add more to it. That's not a problem. It's just hard to get rid of the alcohol if you put too much in there because the bottle is full and there's only a certain amount of liquid you can fit into this bottle. So, yeah. How many did I put? I think three. Let's do four. I think four is really good. It looks all right. And then I'm gonna use my fruit from the champagne cocktail. Passion fruit pulp, always tropical. Mm -hmm. 
it's up to you how you want to do this like you can do this in a bottle of course and I'm explaining it with the example of this bottle <laughs> peaches all over me um, but you can of course also do it you know more presentable in a jug or um, in, a, in a punch bowl because it's a punch why not so put a good amount of fruit in there to make it tropical and nice and you can of course add other fruit like pineapple would go with this really nice um, maybe even like a bit of the coconut water you know that that one was all the hype about at the moment that was really good for you anyway and then I just top it up with juice and I leave a little bit of room on the top Put the lid back on and look at that, I have a shaker at the same time. So now this bottle, if you drink it on your own, takes a while to melt down, keeps definitely cool. If you drink it fast, you can use the bottle again to do the same fun again. I actually want to taste it myself now, what it tastes like, I've been guessing it all around. So the thing you always should do, always, like no matter how, how your drinks are, it's all good, you know, but just try them before you offer them someone else to not make completely a fool of it and just play with it. If you also want to like get the full flavor into your nose when you breathe, like when you smell it, open your mouth when you smell, you get more flavors out of it. Mmm. Tropical. Shaka da da da.